Hello recruits, Cosmic Crow MC here. I've had a pretty productive week, and now I'm here to go over the fourth beta for Enter the Backrooms Release Version 3, or R3 Beta 4 for short. In this beta, I've added in three new levels, two new entities, and made some changes to boxes. I've also made it so that you can see the effects of stability in sandbox mode. Let's begin with the main feature of this beta, Level 18. Level 18 looks like it's straight out of an old film, with sepia colors and a fuzzy animation on your screen. Level 18 consists of randomly generated schools and playgrounds, and is meant to resemble childhood memories. Level 18 will look and sound different every time you re-enter the level, with varying textures and ambience. In this beta, I've also added in two very similar levels, the Whiteout and the Blackout. The Whiteout is a very peaceful level that's bathed in a white glow. You can access the Whiteout from level negative one, but encountering it is fairly rare. If you find a door in the Whiteout, this will take you to the Blackout. The Blackout has identical generation to the Whiteout, however, it's very dark and far more dangerous. Using your flashlight barely helps here, and entities are everywhere. Doors in the Blackout will take you to level 9. This beta version also includes two new entities, the Boiled and Elevators. First off, the Boiled are an early game entity that can be heard crying from a distance. Get too close to one and it will run at you, dealing a little bit of damage when it attacks. Don't let this fool you though. Despite doing a small amount of damage up front, the Boiled's attack will cause you to take a little bit of damage every second for the course of a minute, which could result in some serious trouble. On top of the Boiled are Elevators. These are entities that make you think you found an exit, but that actually deal a lot of damage when used. Fake Elevators are darker in appearance and have faint traces of blood on them, so they're pretty easy to avoid if you're paying attention. This beta has also changed boxes a little bit. Now, some boxes will be bigger, signifying that there's a high chance that they hold more than one item. There are also very rare artifact boxes now. These golden boxes will give you a random artifact, and they can be found on any level, including those beyond level 8. Phew, that should be pretty much everything you will find in today's beta. Before I go, if you'd like the chance to discuss the game, make suggestions, and stay up to date on the game's development, make sure to check out a link to our Discord in the description below. As many levels as I've added in already, there's still one more level-focused beta remaining for release version 3 of Enter the Backrooms. I think that a lot of people will enjoy what's in store for next time, but until then, goodbye, recruits!